Hey guys, today I'm going to talk, after having, having talked about uh, the stippler, now I'm going to talk about the path maker. So the path maker, actually, if you go to my blog and look at the, the blog post about it, it's on the painting software, and then you go into path maker here and it explained basically it takes the output from the stippler which is a bunch of points and it outputs an image showing the shortest path that connects basically it's the shortest path that goes through all the points without going through a point twice so that's the traveling salesman problem very famous from TSP. So basically, I use something called Lean Kern, which comes from Concord TSP solver, and it solves the. I mean, it's an approximation, but it solves the traveling salesman problem, and it gives you the 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 path basically, the traveling salesman path. And what I do, I just trace trace on that path. So what I d my part is very small compared to their part. So let me explain what you should do on an example. Assuming you have already downloaded the archive and extracted it where it's convenient for you. So me, I went here and it's here. The path maker. Okay, so that's what you should see. So what I do is that I create a new folder. So this is in the archive. This is a new folder. So I create a new folder. I already filled it, but I'll show you what I did. What I did is I went into here and I took you need this one lean kern it's a batch file so lean kern dot bat and you need this one the pathmaker dot bat and you need this one the pathmaker underscore input dot txt you copy those three and you put them in this one so here, here you have the lean kern pathmaker pathmaker underscore input the rest it comes from where you uh, run uh, the stippler. So to, r to use the pathmaker, you need to run the stippler first. So this is the stippler, same directory. So this is AD. This is the batch file. This is the input. And basically, you need you need this one source underscore image.png which is your uh, input uh, picture input photograph and you need the tsp this one called sample.tsp so you need i don't know if you need this one but you can just copy everything just copy everything copy those guys everything one two three four five six that were in your directory where you uh, executed the stippler and you copy all that stuff to the pathmaker so you copy all that stuff to here which is what I did so I got this uh, yeah so here I have the the output from the stippler which I don't think you need this is the TSP that you definitely need source image you need and this is of course the pathmaker stuff so the pathmaker what you do you edit it okay hold on first you have to do this one so what you do okay so you go back one level and this is where the executables are so you click here and you copy paste this you copy this and you're gonna put it into this one edit Linkern and 
this what you copied the path you copied you put it here okay You do the same thing for this one. So not bad, whatever. And you put this that what you copied, you put it here, so that you have the right path for the executable. It's explained in the block the block blog post. Okay, so let's go back to the blog post because it's explained better than I can. So it's all explained here, and then you it explains the input file. So the input file is this one, the pathmaker underscore input the txt. So you have source underscore image the png, which is the one that you use for the stippler. Sample.tsp is the output from the stippler. Sample.cycle is going to be the output from Lincoln. And this is your rendered image. And this is the the radius of the dots or the the line base yeah the radius and this is the entire alias radius just like in stipler same idea so here I radius one and you want two pixels of uh, two pixels of uh, anti-aliasing three minus one so let's have a look at how they look like so this is my sample underscore image of png and this is my sample dot png sample dot png so this is the output from uh, the stippler oh no source image excuse me S this is source underscore image and this is sample dot png the output all right so now you're ready to run Maybe it's better if the. How do you change that? View. Uh, large icons. Yeah. Large icons. It's better. So what you do is just you double click on this one and, and it, it should run. Oh no, first you have to do this one. First you have to do link on. So you double click on this one. So again, this is coming from uh, Concord, Concord, Concord. So it's done. So now you you got that cycle thing. Now you can run the pathmaker. So double click on this one. Okay. So it's done. So let's have a look at what it looks like. So let's go to the GIMP. So open. Uh, so I think it's output underscore image. Yes. So this is how it looks like. So I think. I think it's a bit too coarse. So you would have to go back to into to make it a little bit finer on the uh, I'm not going to do it but you get the idea I mean you have to go to a small size to see it but uh, should I rerun the other one I guess I could you could do you could rerun the stippler I can say I want to do it, but I mean, if it's got to be done, it's got to be done. So the stippler, any Lamar input. So let's. I think I'm gonna go back to the maybe the. So this is for the darker area. So I want to be darker. I think I'm going to leave that one. This is for the lighter areas. You can be even even lighter if you want. Let's see. Ah. I am 
just going to reduce to 3. So let's save that. And let's run the stippler. OK, it's done. So I think this is the one. I'm just going to double click on it. OK. So let's use that one. So now I need to copy uh, this one and that one. I don't need anything else. So I'm going to copy that into the other one, the Pathmaker stuff. Pathmaker, Eddie Lamar. Let's paste. Replace. Absolutely. And let's rerun. So I need to rerun this one, the lean kern. So that produces the cycle file, the CYC file. Okay, done. So now you can double click on uh, this one, the pathmaker. Okay, so let's see in GIMP what happened. So let's go back to 100%. No, 50%. Yeah. So now file open. So this one output okay so that's the difference okay so if you look very closely oh. okay so here you can see this and uh, anti aliasing. This is anti aliasing. If you don't want anti aliasing, you can do the following. So I'm going back to my directory, the input file, edit, and I'm just going to put if I don't want anti aliasing, just put one. so you put the same radius so if if you keep the one so this is no entirely I think if you put two a little bit three more even more etc etc so here it's no entirely I think so let's run that so let's uh, double click on the path maker here Oops. okay let's see output. Now if I zoom, okay, there's no no entire thing. You have that stair case effect. Okay, so you have that. Uh, so it's one one continuous line, and it goes through all the points coming from the stippling, without without going into a point twice. Okay. So. And this thing can use it. The output of the pathmaker you, you you can use it to scribble, and this is going to be the object of uh, another video. Okay, so I think you get uh, 
you get the idea about uh, the path maker so if you like this kind of video this kind of, this kind of con content please like comment subscribe subscribe and i try to make more okay so in the meantime uh, see you around hasta luego bye